Just obviously how happy I am to be back. You know, 15 years have gone by since I spent my last fall in Norman. So humbling for me to be back, be back in this position, being the offensive coordinator, uh, sitting in a great chair that uh, that's got a ton of history and a ton of tradition and and look forward to, you know, fighting for every inch, every single day to to continue to to build this thing the right way. Fired up about getting the opportunity, obviously, to to work for Coach Venables. His passion, his vision, his consistency is something that you can feel every single day. And uh, we, we've got a great thing going. It's, it's going to be a lot of fun. I think I always wanted to be back, you know, have an opportunity to be back. I, I've told a lot of people I've got to ask to come to Oklahoma twice. I said yes as fast as I could. And, and that's that's the reality of it. So when Coach Venables called me, said, "Hey, I think there's an opportunity that this could happen. You know, want want you to be my guy." I said he said, "You got any questions?" I said, "Where's the pen? You know, I want I want to sign as fast as I can." Uh, so was always hopeful to to be back in this position that I'm in right now. Uh, and it's like I said earlier, Barry. I'm, man, I'm humbled to to be sitting here and. And, and getting to work with these guys every single day and, and get ready to roll. It's just there's a shortage of time right now. It's it's a fine line as far as balancing the time between the weight room and strength and conditioning and then being able to get them with us. So right now, everything is, you know, we're, we're eight hours a week. Everything is done with Schmitty right now. So we don't actually get our hands on them uh, at, at this point. And we're not going to be able to see him throw and catch a football until we get out there for spring ball. And that's, that's a, the reality of the rules. But again, to me, you know, having Dylan, that's a huge piece of it. But what we're trying to do is we want to find ways to get them the install, right, in pre-spring, spring, summer, and then fall camp. And I feel like if they're going to get it four times before we ever step on the field against UTEP mentally, then we're going to be in a really good spot. So we're going to be able to get that done and and uh, and be in a good place once we get rolling. I think the thing that I've continued to say is genuine juice. You know, there, there's a lot of fake, uh, fluffy juice out there and energy with guys. But I think when you walk in the building, we really do have genuine juice. We care about young people. We care about, you know, the people that we work with every single day. And we care about Oklahoma football and, and the University of Oklahoma. And so I think it's very, very unique because we're all tied so tightly together um, that guys, when they walk in the building, they feel that. They see that. And, and it's nonstop throughout the weekend. And it's been, uh, it's been refreshing. It's been great. We're going to continue to build on it. For more information, you can visit TulsaWorld.com.